Hello and thanks for joining us this afternoon. The Georgia Bureau of Investigation identified a man Houston County deputies shot and killed overnight. They say he is James Parks of Warner Robins, age 44. Molly Jett went to Houston County to find out what happened. This is the home 402 Tharp Road where the shooting took place. Now you can still see the damage here behind me. More than 20 bullet holes just on the front porch alone. And while you can see on the concrete a little bit darker of areas, that's where the fire department scrubbed away the blood. Monday morning, Curtis Singleton drove past as investigators finished up at the scene. In light of everything that's happening in our country, it's just mad. According to the GBI, Houston County deputies went to a home just after 10 p.m. Sunday for a welfare check on a suicidal man. They say deputies found 44-year-old James Parks of Warner Robins barricaded inside. According to the GBI, after numerous attempts to make contact with Parks, he came out of the home holding a gun. They say Parks chambered around as he turned toward the deputies, and they shot him. It's shocking to see um, something like this in a neighborhood um, that is so quiet and so quaint and, um, and very, very peaceful. I counted more than 20 bullet holes in the front of the home and more than 10 on the side of the home next door. It's frightening that it happened so very close to where we are um, intending to buy. The GBI says deputies performed first aid on parks, but he was pronounced dead at Houston Medical Center. What has to happen is our lawmakers have to do something with and for us to prevent this type of activity from taking place, not just in Houston County, not just in Georgia, but in America. Now we also spoke to a couple of other neighbors who didn't want to go on camera, but they told me two people lived here, a male and a female, and they haven't been here very long. In Houston County, Molly Jett, 13W, Amazing News. Now, we asked the GBI for further details, such as whether Parks pointed the gun at deputies. We also asked if a mental health co-responder was present during the standoff, as required by a new state law that went into effect July 1st. So far, they've not responded. Per policy, anyone involved is on leave pending the end of the investigation. The GBI will investigate and turn their findings over to the Houston County District Attorney's Office for review.